What's up folks, it's Two Bricks and I am so excited to be able to announce to you guys the beginning of a crazy new project. So I have promised for a while now that I have big plans for the micro fleet that I wanted to return to the micro fleet and uh, you know come back to it in a big way <laughs> and well I am going to be doing that. So um, you might be seeing this sort of monorail uh, thing I have here in the front and wondering what that's all about. Well, that is the size. <laughs> that's so crazy. Uh, that is the size of the Venator class Star Destroyer that I will be building. Um, I, I may have lost my mind just a little bit. The plan is for the Venator to be the same scale as all of the rest of my micro fleet that you can see here laid out. And it's going to be elevated on stilts, just like you see here. Uh, but it's going to be quite a bit higher, probably twice as high. So that will allow it to sit here sort of towards the top end of my um, you know, backdrop here. And what I'm probably going to end up doing is modifying this backdrop to be half the height that it is, or a third of the height that it is, or something, something like that, or two thirds, I mean, um, you know, something like that, so that I have room for the edges of the Venator to poke over the edge of this, because essentially this table is going to become the Venator table and whatever micro fleet items I can fit around it, I will go ahead and try to fit. Uh, but predominantly this is going to be the Venator space. So <laughs> the more that I walk up and down this and the more that I look at it, the more I think I'm absolutely nuts, but I don't think I'm actually nuts. And here's why. So I have a plan. <laughs> so, oh boy. So the, um, uh, the Moff Gideon cruiser here, the, it's not actually the Moff Gideon, but you know, the, um, the Aqua 10's cruiser here is, I believe it's just over three feet, right? So when you think about that in terms of this thing being 9.9 .9 feet in length, uh, the Aqua 10's there is almost a third of the length, right? So my plan is to actually just divide the Venator in half and I will put a break in the natural point in the design where a break feels like it should be, which is almost roughly the halfway point and it will become two separate models, both of which have their own stable uh, standing legs and can be separated. And then the top panels will be a single panel that runs right the way down uh, from bow to stern uh, for the sort of outside wedge triangular shape on either side. Uh, and that'll be able to be removable and to be able to be stored flat is the plan. Um, so that if I want space, if I want to reclaim space, I can have my two four and a half foot models uh, and some flat storage stuff, um, you know, that, that way, <laughs> that's the plan anyway. And um, I'll probably have it where the, uh, the legs are designed to be removable and I can actually then um, store them away, uh, you know, and that way, hopefully if I, if I need space to do things, I can actually reclaim some. So um, that'll also make it, you know, somewhat feasible to actually take the thing to display somewhere like at a at some sort of uh, convention which would be awesome and also it's not as crazy as it sounds because the whole front triangle section before it starts to pinch in narrow and then get wide again um, it's going to get out to be about three feet wide at the widest right there and then the back section it goes out to the widest point there's a little kind of triangular wedge that comes off that will get out to be about four and a half to five feet in length but I don't need to see the entire thing on display here mirrored on both sides. So what I'm probably going to do is I'm going to make a sizable chunk of it, which would be sitting sort of back here somewhere, actually make that removable as well. So that when this is on display, it sits up against the wall and you sort of, so imagine if this, you know, chunk of this ship could be removed and you could put this flat up against the wall. That's kind of the idea. And we'll see how that goes. These are all speculations. Um, all I know right now is that I've built this red-ish uh, multicolored um, strut to show me what I'm dealing with, and this is what I'm dealing with. So now I just have to make it happen. Um, I wanted to do this as a project for when I hit 100,000 subscribers. Uh, that's taking too long. I'm impatient. I, I want to get started, and hopefully it goes in reverse, like me doing this will bring the 100,000 subscribers to my channel because enough people will be curious to see me try to pull off this insane feat of Lego engineering. 
Um, so the Vanator is actually filled with tricky angles and interesting weird little uh, foibles to it. So that's going to be a really fun thing to try to figure out. Uh, the whole back section, I would say about this much of it, is just fin and engines, right? And then that's where the, the ship proper kind of starts right there. And then you have a narrow middle section where we have the hangar bay, the, the small um, uh, ventral hangar bays here. And then we have the large central hangar bay that runs right the way down through here. So there's sort of like multiple discrete sections that I can try to tackle um, you know, at different stages. The superstructure is going to sit around about here. That's the part that, you know, goes up to the bridges. It'd be sort of up, up about this high. Um, and that is something I actually made uh, a fair decent chunk of in the past um, to the scale. Back when I was playing around with the idea of doing this, uh, I think four, four, three, four years ago, something like that. Um, and then I didn't end up showing it to anybody really or, you know, not publicly on the channel or anything like that, because I was like, well, this seems like a little out of my scope for now. Um, and yeah, I'm I'm actually having space in here renovated right now. So that's going to actually be usable space with tables and stuff in it. And that goes back a fair way. So what I'm probably going to end up doing is taking the, uh, the micro fleet as it exists now, putting it in there and having this just be my build uh, table for the Venator and... You know, uh, when, when I'm done, I'll bring everything back and see what I can fit around this uh, simultaneously. But really, the Venator is going to be the, the central crown and glory of the whole thing. So that's going to be where the main focus is. So, um, and yeah, and you can see here, um, I will not be building this on Mac. It will be on Windows. Aha! Sorry, I had to squeeze a little pun in there for my video. And it's, it's crazy, you guys. It's crazy. But we're doing it. It's going to happen. Um... It's hard to convey the scale of this. I guess if you have any of these uh, drawers, plastic drawers like this, you can kind of tell. Um, and if you just kind of get a sense of the size of Lego bricks, or if you've built any of my microfleet ships yourself. So this is pretty much exactly the scale of the recent MIDI uh, scale set for the Tanta V4. So when you put that alongside here and you go down and you go down and you go down, and you go down, you keep going down, you keep going down, you kind of get a sense of it like that. So yeah, it's going to be crazy. Um, but the cool thing is I'll be able to actually fit, you know, my, like all my Clone Wars ships. I can get my Y-Wing, I can get my uh, my Z-95 Headhunter, I can get my Clone Wars uh, gunships and stuff, and I can put them into the hangar bay because I'm going to be making the doors fully to open for sure that's that's not in question like the hangar bay will be accessible the ships will be stored in there um and what i'll probably also try to do is figure out some smaller areas of the ship where uh you can access some of the internals take off some panels and i'll put some scenes in there either minifig scale or i'll scale them to the fleet so we'll have some like maybe representation of like all the the decks all the layers sandwiched down and you can see a couple of iconic scenes um maybe like Darth Maul in his uh, corridor uh, fight chase scene, you know, or, or something to that effect in Microscale, which is a couple of studs to represent each character. And uh, that, that'll that probably be what I end up doing. But the main focus here is going to be on strength and stability for the superstructure, figuring out the engineering of how it's going to break apart, where and exactly, you know, how that's all going to function and have it actually be sturdy and um, getting all the parts. So <laughs> that's going to be the main kind of crazy challenge for me is just simply sourcing the raw materials required to actually build this thing. So this is going to be by no means a quick project. This is going to see me through at least 2025, maybe into 2026 as well. We'll see. It's probably going to be a 15, 20, 30 part series, something to that effect where uh, I, I don't want to make you guys wait a ton of time between updates. So like I was a little concerned when I did the Aquatens build series that I was taking way too long between each video. Like I think between one or two of them, it was like four or five months between releases. And I don't want to do that. I want to give you guys smaller periodic updates. Um, and that way you can see all the things where I'm trying something, where I'm going wrong and failing and taking a step back, where I'm like, you know, uh, even even small things. Like if I figure out the design I'm going to use for just for the, the like the logo, the um, open circle fleet logo is going to be something that I have to brick build at a huge scale. So like once I get all those things figured out, uh, I'll probably just shoot a little video update for each of those. And I might even do unboxings or haul videos for 
specifically for this because I'm going to be getting so many packages uh, over the next coming months for this. So yeah, uh, there'll be a lot of content regarding this uh, coming up and I'm going to try to make some really cool uh, eye-catching thumbnails so we can really get some folks over here. And you can spread the word too if there's uh, anybody that you know who likes Star Wars. I'm hoping that involving the Venator and the fact that it's prequel related will um, get a lot of eyeballs to it because that seems to be what's most popular on YouTube for whatever reason and um, that naturally the, the project will take off but we'll see um, and yeah it's just now it's just a battle of space logistics um, it's a battle of <laughs> figuring out where to store parts that I'm not using uh, you know I'm probably going to be doing um, streams as well where I disassemble mocks of mine so i think the millennium falcon is going to get disassembled and put into this for sure um i'm pretty sure that i'm going to try to finish serenity uh in the coming year so that i can then take it apart and put it into this project because serenity is hogging a lot of useful parts for that right now and i'm probably gonna have a super multicolored interior as well um you know where the parts that aren't visible are probably gonna be crazy multicolored as well and um and we'll just kind of see how we get on so yeah this is going to be the project of a lifetime i'm absolutely so excited to be starting on this um like i said i'm just impatient and i want to i want to make cool stuff for you guys and i don't want to wait so life is too short and i want to see this venator exist <laughs> and hopefully you guys do as well so if you do enjoy the video um if you did enjoy the video today and if you want to support this upcoming crazy project, you can head on over to patreon.com slash two bricks and you can uh, pledge. You can sign up for one of the tiers. You'll get some cool perks and you'll be helping me to get everything I need to make this insane project happen. As you guys know, Lego is not cheap. 10 cents per part isn't even really the case anymore, especially for a project like this where I'm going to be getting a lot of Technic pieces, a lot of large pieces, a lot of wedge plates, large plates of, of that sort. Yeah, it's going to be expensive. So um, anything that you guys can pledge to help to fund this project, um, which I believe, if I finish it, is going to be um, the world record for the largest Lego Venator ever made, uh, then you guys can do that. And that will be amazing. And I will be eternally grateful. And you'll get shout outs in the videos and all that kind of cool stuff as well. Whew, so there we go. Uh, so today's patron shout out for the video is going to go to Aki. Aki, you've been an amazing supporter of mine and all the time that I've had my Patreon, Patreon up, you've been supporting me. And uh, just like the good folks who are watching this video now can do, you've been helping me to get the stuff that I need to make my crazy wild dreams come true. So uh, thank you so much for doing that. Um, I really, really appreciate it. Um, Aki, Aki, we all know that he's wacky. That's my little poem. Everybody gets a little poem now. That's my uh, that's the thing I'm doing for, for round two as I'm going back through and giving everyone their shout outs. Everyone gets a little poem. Hey, look at that. So um, so yeah, uh, anything you guys can do will help. Liking, uh, subscribing, and sharing the video also helps a ton. And um, there's going to be a lot of videos in the series, so hopefully there'll be a lot of room to grow and gain traction there as well. So I'm not going to uh, talk anymore. I <laughs> definitely think that I've pitched you guys on the epicness of this project. Hopefully that comes through on camera. Uh, this is going to be the greatest fleet of LEGO Star Wars ships ever assembled at the same scale. Unquestionably, I don't think anyone is going to touch this for quite some time. And um, and yeah, fight me about that. I'm ready. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to get to work. I'm going to be um, ordering parts. I'm going to be sharing updates with you guys very soon about um, the planning process for this, the, uh, you know, taking a look at what I'm going to do as far as blueprints and uh, things of that nature. Um, we got a lot of planning to do and a lot of parts to start ordering. So let's get to it. Thank you guys again so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. And may the force be with you.